What's the almighty motherfucking deal, baby? We have not made one of these bitches in a long time. Probably like a couple months. It is Tuesday, December 28th, 2021. When we able to say that shit for long. And man, I wanted to talk to y'all about burnout. Tonight, I just decided to just stop ignoring this need as I'm listening to these solo serve videos I'm uploading to my YouTube channel and shit. And like, man, I just want to talk to y'all about burnout, man. Like, burnout is very... Very fucking real. Like, uh, I experienced that shit earlier this month. And, like, it is only through disciplined action and me just, like, pulling myself by my own fucking hair and making me just, like, get up and make stuff that, like, I'm starting to climb up out that hole, man. What I believe where the burnout came from is, like, you know, these last, ever since 2016, these last five going on six years, you know, I've been doing this entrepreneurial journey shit, just trying shit, trying shit. <clears throat> and then now, you know, I've officially, like, found my path with this art shit. You know, I just believe, like, all them years of just stress and just trying shit and just, like, depression and all that type of shit. I think it just came to a head, man, and it just fucking exploded. And, like, I was just tired. I just sat in this bitch and just slept and watched anime and shit for, like, a week. A little bit long. And I ain't gonna lie, you know, I've lost some of my discipline to a certain extent. I ain't gonna lie, one week, nigga, I got a pizza and a hamburger that week. You know what I'm saying? Sat up here, ate me some bullshit. Didn't really gain about six to eight pounds, which I ain't tripping because I know the actions I gotta take to drop that weight. So, you know, I'm not really hurting that bad, but <clears throat> definitely have destroyed some of my, you know what I'm saying, habits that was very in my favor, for lack of a better word. But as far as, like, that burnout, man, it, that shit scared me, dog. That, that shit scared me. Well, like, I went to the hospital or nothing, but just, like, to not have the desire to make stuff. And, you know, there, there's so many conflicting arguments online where you're trying to find, like, some quote-unquote help <clears throat> that, like, uh, you know, some people say push on through it. Some people just take extreme breaks. Like, I uh, was listening to this one podcast, and this girl was like, she knew of somebody that they took six months off of not making shit. Because, like, man, you know, what was really underestimated with being a creative person, you know, is that, like, you creating stuff from your mind, man. Like, yeah, you pulling it from your soul and all that kind of shit, but, like, this is just, this is a really mentally soul draining as well as soul fulfilling but a soul draining process that like if you do not take out the time to properly recover and like take care of yourself you will burn out you will you will burn out man and now so you know that i'm heading to this next phase of life is like i'm really doing my fucking best to figure out how to better take care of me to take breaks to, you know, to slow down and, and enjoy anime. I ain't gonna lie about that. That week, a couple weeks off. Or, like, really, truly, the, the, the whole, this whole month, man, it's been kind of, like, a long break. You know what I'm saying? I, I really kind of just took, like, this whole month off. Still keeping up my training and shit like that. But I've been very lax. But as the New Year's coming upon us, I'm getting my mind right and getting prepared to, like, just go hard in the motherfucking paint within reason. But, like, just sitting up in this bitch and just watching mindless-ass cartoons and just, like, letting my mind not be so focused in on business shit and learning how to market and, you know what I'm saying, drawing this and drawing that and just being, like, okay with releasing control of my life. That's another major thing. Just, like, whatever's going to happen, going to happen. Yes, have a plan, have a strategy, have a vision, have all that shit. That is, you need all that. You need a vision. But, like, I think a lot of us get so caught up on the how, like how things are going to turn out, how th how we're going to make this amount of money, how we're going to do like how, 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 how. And the how is none of your fucking concern. It's that's not none of your concern. You are only entitled to the work. We are not necessarily entitled to the fruits of our labor, which is just. Well, the first time I heard some shit like that, it just, it sounded fucking insane to me because, like, you know, so you want to do the work and also read the rewards. But I guess, like, the magnitude 
of the seeds that you're sowing of like the harvest or whatnot, you might not be alive to fully reap that. I don't know where I'm going with that thought process, but I figured I'd just throw that bitch in there. But man, take care of y'all self out here, man. Be kind to yourself. Be gentle. Take fucking breaks. You know, be purely honest with yourself when you've taken a long enough goddamn break. Know the difference between like being and taking a break and just being fucking lazy. You know what I'm saying? Keep up your good discipline habits that have gotten you where you at. But please, man, from a nigga who's just been going hard as fuck ever since he found his purpose in life, take a break, man. Take a break. Go on vacation, bro. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy your loved ones. You know, if you're a man, get you some pussy. You're a woman. <laughs> you know, just, just go enjoy life. Take a fucking break, man. Don't burn yourself. I promise you, whatever you want in this life, it's there. It's not going nowhere. Nobody's going to take it from you. Just enjoy this journey and stay down with the vision. Don't want to harp on this burnout thing too long. Just want to let you know that, like, uh, that's why, like, my content has been real scarce. Just really ain't had no desire to make shit. You know, I'm a one-man band, a one-man army. And, uh, you know, man, boys just tired. We tired, but, you know. The new year is upon us. I got goals and plans. I got I got shit to do. I got shit I want to make. I got money I want to make. I got any galactic place I want to do. So, you know, boys got to get back on the ball and get this discipline back in order. So, yeah, just want to share my experience of, uh, of burnout with y'all. Talk to you soon.